Good morning. This is Jordan Dominique here with the Shining Force channel. Um, I just real quick this morning was reviewing some uh, posts about the revisiting of the <laughs> Destiny's Child Cater to You song. And I just wanted to make a quick point about, you know, the whole debacle going on there. Because a lot of people are comparing the song and the sentiment of catering to your man to modern day slavery or indoctrination into that type of a lifestyle. And I just think that that's completely silly. Because if we're going to sit here and compare um, a stay at home wife to modern day slavery, then what are we comparing the men who have to go out and do the jobs that they don't want to do in order to support the family that they have? Um, meaning specifically the dirty and the hard jobs like being a plumber or um, being a garbage man. These are all things that, yeah, they have varying levels of pay and compensation to them, but they're not necessarily jobs that people would want to do. They're not necessarily jobs that people would volunteer to do if they didn't have to. And it's just not very glamorous. But the fact of the matter is that the men do these jobs not because they want to, but because they have to in order to live and afford a living for their family, first and foremost but also on a larger scale because these are jobs that society requires. If there were no garbage men, nobody would pick up, and there, then garbage would just pile up in the streets. If there were no plumbers, then we would literally be up to here in fecal matter. So while it may not be a glamorous or thankful thing, men still understand their duty that that is something that they have to fulfill. To a stay-at-home wife, that would translate the exact same way. These are all duties that you have to fulfill. I think that the average woman <clears throat> who is not a stay-at-home wife, mind you, thinks about her current workload and then thinks about an additional workload that she would be taking on um, in order to support the household and views that as slavery. I think that that's very problematic. Or there's a person who thinks that taking on the responsibilities of house um, main making, house making and maintaining somehow limits you from doing the other things that you believe that you want to do with your life. If that's true, then maybe you weren't marriage minded. If that's true, then maybe you're not looking to create a family because if you care about your career more than you care about making a family, then you have your priorities mixed up because men care about their careers so that they can become something of themselves and then start a family. A woman wants to have a career so that she can make something of herself so that she can have money. Because there's no woman who's, or it's not often that a woman is like, I'm going to go make all this money and then I'm going to start a family. They make all the money so that they can set a standard for themselves that a man will have to come to in order to even be looked at as a potential mate. But the fact of the matter is, that men and women go into careers for fundamentally different reasons, I believe, from the from the from the offset. But that's a whole different tangent. Just taking it back to the the notion that a stay at home housemaking woman is a modern day slave. In that same aspect, anybody bound to their duty, whether you're a college professor, a lawyer, or a police officer, plumber. Any occupation, any role that you fulfill could technically be viewed as slavery because if you weren't there, then that means that the position would go unfilled or you can believe that somebody else will fill it. But that my point is that the notion of being replaceable, if you're not willing to fulfill your responsibilities, is something that every human being on the planet faces. So for us to sit here and make it seem like the responsibility of staying home taking care of children, cooking, cleaning, or all of these very necessary maintenances is somehow less than or viewed as a lower responsibility is just absolutely ridiculous to me. There's nothing that signifies that. It's very important work that needs to be done. Somebody has to do it. So let's let's go ahead and say the hypothetical of, okay, a, fam a family with two children and a husband and a wife, and the husband and the wife both go off 
to work full-time jobs and who is fulfilling the duties of what is being taken care of at the house oh you have a maid and you have daycare services and you have all these other people in and out doing all these chores and stuff the responsibilities are still getting done by somebody somebody's being paid or compensated for them so are they then slaves for doing that no no they're not oh you say because they're getting monetary compensation for it okay so the wife of a husband who is providing everything that they need for their family, taking trips, vacations, buying clothes for the woman, like the things that she likes are being taken care of. The only difference is she's not the one who is physically doing manual labor that is on a W-2 that she fills out and has a taxable income. She is still having everything that she wants provided for her and it's not like, the dynamics of like permissions and things like that is on a case by case basis because I don't personally believe that just because I was the one who, like I said, worked 40 hours at an official job to do that, that this is more my money than it would be your money if you are for fill fulfilling your duties as a wife in the household because that is important responsibility. I can't go and fulfill my job the way that I want to do it if. I didn't have a good meal, a good rest, and clothes to wear that were clean so that I can go out into the workforce. So by doing that part of it, you are helping me to fulfill my task, not only for humankind, but also fulfilling my job to bring home the bacon. It's as simple as that. Everybody always views, like, I hate these kind of things that go on on Twitter where it's like, it's a, it's a, a gender war thing. Because all, all of these people are thinking about their specific situation, where they're at. And then if they had an additional workload, it's like, okay, but take into account the fact that you have not been marriage minded for so many years, which is why you're in the predicament that you were. So all of a sudden, yes, if a relationship fell into your lap, you wouldn't be prepared for that. That doesn't make it slavery. That just means that other people are actually properly preparing to tackle life in a unit with a man and a woman who have already expressed their vulnerabilities to each other, have already identified the needs in one another that they can fulfill and are executing a plan to go ahead and strategically set their future generations at a better position than they were. If you aren't thinking like that, then it makes a lot of sense why housemaking sounds like slavery to you. I guarantee you that if you look in the households of these women who are claiming that this is slavery, it's probably dirty. They're probably messy. Their children are probably up way past their bedtimes. And they're probably not taking care of a lot of their priorities at their actual place of work either. Because if you have a mentality like that, you take that everywhere with you. You probably think your little nine to five uh, call center job is slavery. You probably think that everything that you have to do is slavery. And you know what that makes you? A mental slave. Because everybody out here who's acting independently and building better lives, not only for themselves, but society and humankind as a totality... Don't view this work as slavery. They view it as obligation and duty that has been ordained by whatever you believe in as a higher power. And the crazy part about that is a lot of these people, especially in the black community, claim that they're religious, specifically claim that they are Christian. But if you sit there and talk about man and woman duties that are straight from the Bible, they start to shirk their responsibility. And that is inappropriate across the boards, no matter what you believe in. Why? choose a set of beliefs so that you can go ahead and cherry pick from them why not just be yourself and admit that you want to live a lower quality of life than somebody who has responsibilities and jobs anyways i can go on about this forever as you can tell i'm very passionate about it because i'm very sick of seeing people in our generation speak like this we all just want to have fun hot girl summer hot boy summer forever 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 and we're never going to do any work we're never going to get anything done but we all are still depressed and we all still cry at nighttime because nobody loves us and we can't afford the lifestyle that's required but we keep promoting that shit and then we love to call anybody else who can't keep up with it broke as well so we're really making our own bed to lay in um like I said, I can go off on a tangent on this, but I got a job to go to, you know, slavery. Woo! Anyways, this has been Jordan Dominique. Like and subscribe if you want to. Um, your thoughts, your comments, anything, your opinions are much appreciated. Call me an idiot if you want to. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something that I'm not thinking about. Maybe I didn't think this fully through. So 
If there's anything that you'd like to offer, please do. But other than that, have a great rest of your day.